Hey guys! Okay, so today I am doing what has become one of my favorite types of videos, if not my favorite type of video to do. It is a lookbook. I'm going to share with you guys a lot of different looks that I've put together from some new things that you guys have seen me talk about recently in clothing videos, haul videos, a few new things. I have a few new pairs of shoes to show you guys and it's all going to kind of be on the theme of sort of like integrating your old stuff, your new stuff, into making some new looks to kind of transition you into fall. That's going to kind of be what this is all about. As promised, when I did some of my Nordstrom sale videos and um, just any of my clothing videos of late, which everything, I mean, for the last several years, pretty much clothing-wise, I get from Nordstrom. It's just easy. And I think, like, you don't look at it and it's just one style. You can really, I think, dress better. You can dress, like, more your style because there's just so many options. And it's not like a bunch of stuff that everybody is going to have. You know what I mean? It's not like the one thing that's available from one store. Like, oh, this is the jacket they have that season or whatever. There's just so many things to choose from. That's why I like it. If I know that I need a particular, like, item, I can go there. That's not like any, I don't have to say any of this. I'm just saying. I just, I really love them. But yeah, I just really wanted to do a lookbook. I really wanted to put some of these clothes together in action because when I do these hauls sometimes, sometimes I'll just like throw on the particular item and be like, look, this is what it looks like. It's cute. But I think that sometimes it really helps to see like, you know, how is she styling that new sweater or because we all have those things that just kind of sit in our closet. It could be like the cutest, most like perfect item, but if you don't in your mind really know how to style it or you're just not sure of what to do with it, it'll sit in your closet for years. We've all been there, right? So as I say, when I do these lookbooks, just look at this as such a useful thing and do this for yourself as well. Not even like a YouTube thing, but just take some photos, really kind of force yourself to put on some of your new items and put together maybe like five or six new looks so that when you go into your closet you could say bam like I know exactly what I did with that and it looked cute you know so there's no like thought involved you don't just go to like the same things that you always go to do you see what I mean um so anyways yeah that's what we're doing some kind of transitional fall looks with a few new things a few new old things I'll kind of show you guys how I mix up I've got my stuff back there as always you guys I just am so excited about doing this I always love doing these for you guys and I love 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 when I'm able to collaborate with Nordstrom to bring you guys videos like this so oh, I'm so excited I've got some some of the coolest things to show you guys okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna take you through each look and then show you some of the pieces individually all right you guys so this is a look with kind of the most ultimate fall transitional item there is, the sleeveless sweater. This one has a little bit of a turtleneck. It's very lightweight. The colors are very light and airy, paired with some white denim. You could wear this at the tail end of summer and you wouldn't look like, you know, she's wearing a winter outfit. And I have it on with these booties, which also don't feel super heavy for fall either. But this is just the most simple outfit, very simple basic pieces, but put together, it's just the most, I just love this outfit, it's just the most beautiful little outfit, but um, just very simple pieces. So this pair of white denim is kind of special, it does not have front pockets, I'll kind of lift it up and show you that in a minute, but there's nothing worse than seeing that pocket line on white denim, so these are just... These are just my ultimate favorite pair of white denim, and I'm a white denim lover. The backs are, are real pockets. But um, I just love everything about this outfit, and it's just one of my favorites. And then here's a closer look of these, which you have seen before. I am so in love with these, you guys. And let me just tell you, again, like, I grabbed the black ones, which you'll see in a moment. Um, but the black ones are just like this. But I wanted to give you kind of a close-up little look of these. These are just so comfortable, so nice. These are a must, must-have. Okay guys, I have not shown this dress a whole, whole lot, but it is just one of my favorite wardrobe pieces ever. It is so versatile. It's the most comfortable cotton dress. I wore it to a wedding recently with this, the shoes and everything and it was just perfect. But you can 
make it so casual. You can throw on this denim jacket. This is the most perfect denim jacket. I love, love, love these. They come in a bunch of different colors too or a bunch of different washes. But I just think that this light denim looks so current. But it's still classic. The cut of it is perfect. It's not too long and sloppy. But the body is cut kind of loose. It's just could not be more perfect. But see, it pairs nicely with these super fancy shoes too. You can throw on this dress with anything, with tennis shoes even, and it would work so flattering and just easy to wear. And I kind of show you, I threw it on with my big slouchy cardigan. I love this big, thick, chunky camel cardigan. It's just such an easy look. You can push up the sleeves and something about it's just very like chic and effortless. I just, I love, love, love this sweater. As I said before, I'm obsessed with rock studs. I really wanted a pair that had a little bit of a chunkier heel. And I think these are just really classic. I've never tired of mine. I've had them for, not these, but I've had a lot of my rock studs for years. They just never get old. I just love them. And they're so comfortable. So, cute, cute. Okay, guys, this is that little top that I'm obsessed with that I told you. It looks like you've really kind of layered two different things, all like fashion-y and special, like you really know what you're doing. But it's all one piece, and it's really comfortable and nice. You could put it on with anything. Some distressed denim, black booties, those black suede booties I'm going to show in a moment would look so good with this too, but I put them on with these little jewel tone, just beautiful little shoes. I'll give you guys some options too on the shoes as well. I'll link to everything below, so check that out. Um, I'm wearing it with some just basic black leggingy pants that aren't like straight up leggings. They've got like some pockets. They're, so they're a little special. I will link to these. These are wonderful pants. Um, but look at the necklace. Like I kind of put that little um, lariat-ish necklace that kind of you know, hangs right perfectly at your collarbone, and it kind of just tucks right in. The length of the top is perfect. It's just a really cute look. I think it's just kind of preppy and fun. It's a little 90s vibe. I really love it. Here's a closer look of the shoe at these shoes. I had the, I don't want to say original, because they, they still have the, I don't know if the flats were available at the time, um, but you know, just the, the heels like this. The, what are they called? The, the Hengisi, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but that's what they're called, the Hengisi Flats, and like they have the heels, which were kind of made popular by the Sex and the City movie. That's when I got mine. Was that before YouTube? I don't even know. But for years, I mean, when you guys probably watched my old videos, they were like right behind me. I kind of wrecked them. I wore them so much when I, I just finally got to the point where I was like, and sometimes I wish I kind of would have kept them and they'd just be like kind of ratty in my closet, but I'm really happy that I got this pair. Because I think sometimes, like for me, I know flats are more practical for me. Not saying I'm not a person that doesn't buy heels. I love, love, love heels. I just don't wear them that often. I have a ton of them. But again, that's why I got these. I mean, it was, and I didn't want to buy like the same shoes, but I really, really wanted this look of shoe. And they are pretty comfortable. I'm a true nine and a half in every single thing. I don't even have to turn on things. Um, and any shoes that are US sized. But when I wear most shoes that are, you know, European sizing, I'm always a 41. Uh, some things I have 40 and a half, like my Valentino Rock Studs, um, some of those are 40 and a half. I don't know, but, but these being flats, being pointed toe, the 41 was perfect for me. Just really nice, and I think they kind of just brighten up outfits for, I mean, and here I am on like this kind of pinky top, but it's this is kind of a blah color too, but in fall, I don't really, I'm even less likely to wear color, which is even like no color at all, because I just, I like wearing kind of just a very sophisticated, like muted color palette. I mean, I don't know. Not that I don't like color, I just, I like to put on a flashier shoe, I like to put on something that's a little more of a statement sometimes, I like to put on a hot pink bag. I just think that's an easy way to dress and I think that putting on, you know, a fun shoe like this is so, and they have these in a bunch of different colors. They're just beautiful, I really love them. And so versatile because you can literally throw those on with like, the plainest, like most casual thing and kind of dress it up and add something special. Or you could put it on with a dress and wear it to a wedding with some nice pants. I mean, I don't know. You could really just kind of do anything. Y'all, I cannot be more obsessed with this top. It's flowy, it's light, it's appropriate for fall, but it's perfect for this time of year because it's, you know, it won't burn you up. I've got it on with those adorable booties. This top is just so versatile. You saw it was on the outside. You can tuck it in, you can tie it. It's just like soft as butter. It comes in white as well, I'll link to that. Um, but it's just lovely. It gives you kind of that off the shoulder look, but it's got little spaghetti straps, so you know, it's not really going anywhere. I would wear a strapless bra with this. Um, I kind of just threw this on to show you. Um, 
Again, with that same necklace, it just works perfect. And then, you know, the distressing, the very light distressing on the denim gives it a little bit of interest and texture. You guys, I love this top so much. Okay, this is so versatile. It's soft as butter. It is not a super heavy sweater, but when it gets a little cooler in the fall, it's going to be warm. Um, but what's great about it is that you can do it kind of off the shoulder. You could put a, pull it a little further down off your shoulders, um, like for the end of, you know, like beginning of fall, you know, before it gets too cold. But then you could also layer it and put like a little tank top that matches under it. You know, if you wanted to wear your bra, like you can see my bra showing. I would ideally wear a strapless bra um, if I was, you know, just going to wear it like this. These over-the-knee boots, I will just rave about them one more time. They're amazing. The ties on the back are just so special and sweet. And I'm wearing this with some lightly distressed black denim that kind of peeks out a little bit over the top of those boots. This is my new favorite top. I love it so much. It has that little bit of a kind of, you know, that little trend of the ruffle, a little bell sleeve, but it's classic, so it doesn't look too trendy. This is just an example of Simple pieces making an amazing outfit. Good simple pieces. A really good top with a nice silhouette. A really good pair of denim. A really good pair of boots. Three very simple pieces. Nothing's overly layered. Nothing's overly put together or accessorized. And it's just a really great outfit. Perfect, perfect transitional outfit into fall. Doesn't look too heavy. Doesn't look too cool. And then, of course, my all black outfit that wiggles its way into every single lookbook that I do. But this is an example of how to do all black, okay? So I've got different textures. I'm not like head to toe in black cotton or like, you know, one material. I've got a cottony black, you know, could not be more simple tee. I've got some leather-ish leggings, another like different material so it doesn't look too like bodysuit-ish. And then I've got some suede booties. So it kind of all breaks up. It all works. I could totally be comfortable wearing this without this jacket, but the jacket gives it a little something extra. Um, the materials make it feel a little more fall, you know, the suede and the leatherish leggings. These are amazing, by the way. They're so lightweight. They shape you like crazy, and they're so comfortable. Um, but then throw on this little, like, you know, light-looking jacket, and it's just perfect. I'm a sucker for a good flannel. This one is so amazingly comfortable. It would be warm when it gets a little cooler because it is kind of cozy, but you could totally wear it now and not feel like you're like sweating under like a really thick, you know, like flannel -y flannel. But I love the little tones of blush that it's got throughout it, and I threw it right on with those same boots and leggings, and it's just, again, different materials, different looks, but it works. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I had the best time. Getting this together for you guys, I really, really, really hope that this helped you a little bit. Helped you maybe um, get some ideas about some things, even if you own pieces that are similar or, you know, sometimes I know it just it just helps. It helps with anything to get some kind of an inspiration or to see it on somebody and to, like, get an idea. You know what I mean? Um, as always, I will link to these items below. Everything is available at Nordstrom. If anything isn't available, I will link to something similar. Super, super excited, as always, to do these. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for always really loving these types of videos. Every time I do one of these, you guys seem to really like it and... You know, I do too. So, <laughs> so anyways, thanks you guys for watching. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Happy almost fall. Bye, guys.